this week the chips that we can't get are from Microchip. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, devastating for a lot of us out here because you all know lots of chips are from Microchip. So Lady Ada, what's the chips that we really can't get that we really, really need okay, this th week? Okay, this week's chip shortage is a very popular chip, one of the first chips that we used in kits. Uh, everyone knows this is the Atmega 328, uh, sometimes called the 328P, which is a lower power version. Um, we use, you know, two versions, the um, TQFN and TQFP version. Honestly, I always take the QFN because I can always put a QFN where QFP was. I can't always do the other way yeah. around, but we both have both on orders. Here's what, one page. I, what I thought was interesting is actually this is not recommended for new designs, which I, you know, I've noticed. Yeah. I think I mentioned um, on the Desk Lady Ada, the LSM 9DS1 from, T, um, from ST, which is a sensor that people really loved, also is NRND. Uh, a little scary because this is a uh, very popular chip. And that said, I don't think they're going to discontinue it. I think they're just saying, hey, like, this chip is like over 10 years old, 15 years old now. Yeah, and we're seeing like, you know, 2023. And they have a preferred partner program. We're a part of that. We paid for the, the stuff in advance and the dates just keep changing. Mm. So what um, what products yeah. do we do we, we use? We use this in the Feather 328P that we can't make right now, the Metro uh, 328. You know, uh, we ordered these... Um, back in 2021, a year and a half ago almost, um, when it was like, you know, 52 week lead time. And we like, I don't know, maybe I was optimistic. I was like, well, you know, I believe you, 52 week lead time, I'll order now. And I need this many in a year. Um, it's over a year now and um, all of our orders have been pushed out another year. So we might not get so, it for two years. So this is affecting a lot of schools. Yeah. It's affecting educators. It's a, a lot of people making kits. Yeah. A lot of people making and, projects. And the stuff that we make and sell is usually for people to help others make and That's sell right. and become engineers. It's dev boards. People want to, yeah. you know, it's ironic. You can actually get a dev board for cheaper than individual chip now. Yeah. Um, but we don't sell the individual chips. We always put them on dev boards for people to um, learn with, to, to write code with. It's, it's, you know, it's a platform for this chip. And we've supported this chip and written a ton of code for it over the yeah. last 15 years. Um, so I'm not asking for anything other than please ship the chips that we ordered it, over a year ago it, in the timeline yeah, that was originally it, promised it's to not, us. Yeah, it's not like a special favor. It's just like we just want the stuff we ordered and paid for from over a year ago. So, um, you know, and if, and if there is um, things that the companies want to start bundling, like, oh, we don't have enough chips. Well, how about you allocate some to the companies that are doing the most open source code for that chip? Yeah, all we're doing is making more developers yeah. um, so and getting it to students that's a request. and kids. So It's on the DigiKey site. You can see zero in stock. And, never, uh, forever. Yeah, this is, what our, this is what everything looks like always and forever. Okay. Zero in stock. And uh, please, please, please. Mr. So how many, how many do we need? We need, you know, 2,000 just to tide us over. We did order 15,000 a year ago um, with the expectation that we would get them. Uh, we have money more than that on order. It's just that that was like the order that we booked yeah. back in March 2021. Um, but yeah, I think even, you know, a wheel of a, a 2,000 or 4,000 would tide us over. If, it, if we really aren't getting it for another year, we need about eight, eight to 10,000 yeah. at least. And uh, someone in chat says the 328P QFN, a company quoted them $40 a, per chip, which is ridiculous. You should be like a dollar. And then for the QFP ones, um, some companies are starting to use the clones because they have no choice. Which is actually a, a problem because, you know, the clones are not, uh, there's actually code that we've seen that does not run well on the clones mm -hmm. or they don't, they, you know, it's like they act weird. Um, so those clones are not, I wouldn't use them because I, I think that there would be problems with some libraries, especially when you're really using all the interrupts and you're, you're using the timers. Um, I don't think those clones do a very, they don't do a 100% job. And that's this week's chip shortage. We'll see you next week because this ain't ending.